it's super important to have a good team. Without a good team, you're you're just not going to go very far. Especially in an Amazon business, you might be able to build it to five hundred thousand to a million dollars in sales, but you're going to start running around with your head cut off. Those balls are going to start dropping, and you know at that point, you really need to start outsourcing a lot of those tasks to people who can focus on them and hopefully do it better than what you're doing. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. So essentially, you are the scaling guy. You have have a lot of experience in helping businesses and doing it yourself in scaling a business from one or two million on up from there and then exiting, which is awesome. I think there's a lot of people out there that would love to be able to do the same thing. So I guess the big question is, how can someone emulate what you have done in Amazon? Absolutely. Well, I'll, I'll walk you through it. I'll just give one little added caveat of like what I'm working on as well, just so that the information I share with the audience, um, you know, you understand that it's coming from someone who, who's actually dealing in this. I have another business called Escala, which does process improvement. It's a team of nearly 30. Internally, I have a team of about 100. Uh, team members where the bulk of them are in the Philippines, but our consulting practice actually goes into businesses, interviews, shadows, reviews, understands the operation, builds process maps and standard operating procedures to build scale. So I share that bit of information before I sort of launch into uh, almost a rant here because uh, I am so passionate about what I'm about to talk uh, about. But I would say before we start to get into tactical components of the execution of like how do you do this, I think the first and the most important thing for any Amazon business owner is to understand what their end objective is. What is the vision around their business? And 